All right then. So now we're gonna. I'm gonna show you. So we've got my already parked the excavator in the storage. So their little wiki thing, you know, shows you how to do everything. It says that you should put all your machines in storage, and that's great and all, except that uh, some of them. Like I wouldn't want to put all my water plant stuff in there because then it takes like days to set it back up. Some of these little things like the water table and or the wave table and those I'll put in the storage. We'll just throw it in here. You know, it's the funny thing is like you put it in here, but the doors are left open. <laughs> like it'd be cool if like you had to put close the door. And if you didn't close the door, your stuff would still get ruined. I think that would be pretty cool. But, you know, that's just my own take on the matter. But yeah, we'll get all this stuff in here. And then... I was thinking about it. Because the first winter I ever had, I just left all my junk out and destroyed lots of stuff. I think it was like 30,000 gold to get it all back up. So the second time I had a winter, I thought, you know, I'm just going to take the parts off that get destroyed. It takes a whole lot less time. You don't have to move anything around. So that's what I'm going to do here. We're just going to take the parts off that wear out. And we're going to put them also in the storage. So I thought, well, I'm going to get the truck because over here there's quite a few parts. A couple of springs and a motor and fan belt. There'd actually be more, but the uh, Trommel has no more no more parts that you have to replace, and that's really nice. The spring almost looks like it's broken. <laughs> At least. Ask the uh, I unplug everything. I'm, I don't think it matters, but if I'm gonna leave the cables, I really don't care if they go bad, you know. Generally, one or two might break or have a bear attack them. But you don't, you know, I think to replace every cable, if that ever happened, it's like three or four thousand dollars. It's not much. When you think about just the fan belt that's over here, it's like four thousand dollars. It's pretty crazy. Like this, just a belt like that. I know it's three thousand something, but. So, I was thinking I'd leave these buckets, but I just bought them. So, and these are the, like the reinforced ones, so I'm definitely taking them with me. If they were just the normal ones, I think I'd probably just leave them and not worry about it. All right, get in the truck. Come on, you. You can fit. It's not like there's all that stuff, much stuff in there. I mean, I packed way more junk into this truck. You know, you're making me angry. I'm gonna put you in there now. I'm gonna have to climb on my hood here. Yeah, showed you how. All right, let's go pack this stuff away. You can see there's junk all over the place. I'm not even going to worry about it. So I'm back at the old Arnold here to grab the last few things that's here. Because I've... At least the Nugget Nader, the other two things can hang out. I don't... I bought those, but it was like 10k for the two tables. It wasn't a big thing. So... Alright, well, I'm just going to pack up these things and get moving. Alright, we're just about done. I just need this Nugget Nader. Like I said, the other two things, I bought a second one for the other claim, so it's not a big deal. 
Well, there you have it. That's how I uh, pack up for the thing. We're just going to end the season here. And I uh, just want to take a look here. Processed for 19,000, gathered magnetite, gathered gold in real time, 39 per hour, gathered gold 22,816 ounces. Well, all right, there you have it. Well, again, I thank you for watching and supporting, and remember to like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching.